Today is Monday, January 22nd, 2018, and this is the Service Monster Show. In this episode, we'll talk a little bit about the Service Monster 6.1.7 release, our trip next week to ICE, and what's up with Service Monster on the tablet. This week in social media. So I'm pretty much just sick of hearing about how Facebook changed their newsfeed. I got in a discussion with one of the editorial people in Inc. Magazine, and he's doomsdaying this thing. So him and I have a little wager, essentially. I'm saying that I'm not gonna see much of a change because we produce value content. We're good on it, and we're doing it on a regular basis, plus the Entree Joe brand is actually gonna get a boost here because more of you guys are gonna see our posts as friends. And so, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll give it a couple months, but I doubt it's gonna have a huge impact on us, but I'll be the first one to eat my words if I'm wrong. I show next Thursday. So I think they're setting up for Nexus as well. That comes first. That's the Interlink show. And I've heard a lot of good things about that. The ICE is directly after it on February 1st. Come by, say hi, we'll have a booth there. And I'm speaking at 10 o'clock on employee management, company culture, and leadership. This Week in Smug. So Alan Falls talks a little bit about the new formats we have in Service Monster 6 for the phone number fields. We've got the phone number itself. We've got the identifier, is it mobile, home, or cell? We've got a little indicator whether or not you can text it, which should be on by default for mobile, working on that, that's a tracker. And then a note field. So these are things like extension or you know whatever you guys wanna put on there. A handful of you guys like to put you know notes about who, who that is or you know, I don't know. There's a handful of reasons why you guys use that note field. Some of that escapes me at the moment, obviously. But the deal is we want the raw phone number so that on mobile devices, you can tap on it and then do your thing. Alan brought up the fact that it's not in sync across all of our platforms. Service Monster 5, obviously. Mobile 2, Mobile 3, Technician. They all need a little bit of love and massaging. So I know that's a project we're going through and making sure that it all lo links up correctly. So please be patient. But yes, you're right. Uh, it's not quite congruent and we're working on that. Kara found a pretty sneaky little bug. If you merge two accounts and the account that you merged that got destroyed was linked to another account via a lead source, that account cannot be opened in Service Monster 6. So you can actually fix it yourself by going to the account and then updating the lead source and then dealing with it on your own. But obviously it's something that we missed in the merge process. So the team will be working on that as part of a hotfix this week. Jordan asked why you couldn't find mobile technician in the iPad store. And you actually, you can, you can go and change your filter setting so it'll show up and then you can download it. Looks like crap though. We didn't develop mobile technician for the iPad. We developed it for the phone, not tablets. And, you know, can we just blow it up? You know, it doesn't look great. So what we're doing is developing a custom app on the tablet we call Closer. It's gonna be very similar to Technician in a lot of ways, although the emphasis there will be on doing the estimate in the home. But you should be able to do all the same things that you can do with Technician, and it should have that same super easy look and feel. So essentially what it is is Technician with a little bit more horsepower in the editing of an order and on a bigger screen. Now, I talked to you guys a little bit and some of you questioned why we didn't do tablet first because from your point of view, that would have made sense. And while that would have made sense to you, and I'm sure it does, it didn't make sense for the vast majority of our clients. And we didn't just decide to develop for phones because they were using the apps that we develop for phones on their phones. That wouldn't make sense, that'd be dumb. What we did do though is about 18 months ago, we started contacting our clients and started a survey. 50 of them representing a vast majority of our client base, whether they're single owner operators or they're franchisees or they're large operations or they're high-end cleaners and the whole gamut. And the results were very interesting because they told us things that we wouldn't get straight out of data because A, we don't have the products that would be best utilized on those platforms. And B, it doesn't tell us what they might do if they had an opportunity. Someone who just has a phone now might buy tablets if they know we had a super slick offering for that. But here's what we found out. That the tablet exists strongly for a very small portion, a narrow band 
of the entire client base, something that I want to serve for sure. It just wasn't a priority for us over the last 18 months. They wanted phones and then the text phones. Why? Because it's super easy. Everybody's got them. You just jump on it and you're there. And they didn't have to worry about breaking tablets in the field. They weren't looking for that super ultra high end that that tablet gives you. And I'm there. Like I, if I had a company, that's how I'd run it, right? They'd be using those tablets. We'd figure out a way to get otter boxes and you know, it would look awesome for the client, but it's just a very small percentage. It was only about 20 to 25% of our client base really wanted that out of the gate. At first they wanted the phone. So we served our clients as we always do. And now we're coming back around and making sure we have an amazing product with closer. This week, Inside Service Monster. So I'm actually doing something I've never done before. I'm writing my speech. Usually I just go up there and wing it, right? I know the topics well enough where it's not that big of a deal and I can provide a pretty good value and a pretty good show just by feeling the audience and kind of letting it organically go wherever it goes. This is why I like QA because I can answer questions quick on my feet and deliver value in a kind of a speedy context that's a one-on-one -on -one thing. So we're gonna do that. 20 minutes at the end there, I want to do Q&A. So if you're coming, have your questions ready. But the thing I've never done before is actually write out the speech, like act one, scene one, the whole nine. Now, obviously I'm not going to be reading it and I'm not going to be delivering it as a written word, but I, I just find it interesting because I'm, I'm packing a huge amount of value in it. I'm really excited. It's probably one of my best creative work. So if you're around, come by and listen to me monologue and uh, let me know how good or bad it was. Service Monster product updates. So last week we released 6.1.7. It's on the blog. It's also on Smug. You can take a look. There's a handful of items. There's about 35 trackers in all. Two notable favorites are the ability to create a custom view with activities. And now you can do discounts on promotions. The other two features I know have been talked about a number of times in Smug, and I want to make sure to kind of let you know what's going on, is the uh, newsfeed. So global newsfeed, I'm really excited about it. We're wrapping up development here within the next week or so. David got pneumonia, so things kind of got slowed down like the woes of a business owner, right? But I'm super excited to give that to you guys. I think there's gonna be huge value there. And then also keeping you in the loop on what's going on here at Service Monster. And the other one is the overhaul on the service items. So it went through QA, uh, it looked pretty good. One of our internal, not one, a handful of our internal people, one of our teams actually looked at it, had a couple more suggestions. So they're taking another round this week. I think Alex is hoping to get it out by the end of this week or beginning of next week. From everyone here at Service Monster, thank you so much for your attention. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, go check out the demo, give us a call.